in this screencast, we are going to go through the same steps as you have done so far in the exercise of more practice with Artemis. As a first step, we are going to open the DNA and annotation files of STIFE. I have my Artemis window open here. I'm going to go to File, open my File Manager, and I'm going to navigate to the location where the files are. In this occasion, STIFE DNA already appears uh, in my navigation, so I can double click and voila, the genome of Salmonella typhi is represented in Artemis. Notice that it looks naked, there are no annotations uh, in this Artemis window, and that is because the annotation for this particular file is for this particular genome is in a different file. In order to load the annotation, I'll go to File, read an entry, and I can select the annotation, which in this case is stifi.tab. Remember that the annotation can come in different formats. It could have been EMBL or the extension can vary. It says that it's reading from this file. It's also asking me whether I want to see the warnings. I'm going to say no. And here is the annotation. You can see the different CDSs in different colors. And as I click on the different genes, then they get highlighted. And it can also it also highlights in the annotation panel here at the bottom. Remember that if we double click on one particular feature or CDS, then all the windows are going to be centered on that particular CDS. Our next task is to navigate to one of the genes called FBAB. In order to do this, I am going to use the navigation window go to Navigator and go to Feature with gene name FBAB. We can't see it here, but if I move the window, that's the gene over there. I'm going to close this. So this is the FBAB gene. The next thing we're going to learn is to visualize the nucleotide and amino acid sequence of this gene in a different in a separate window to do that i can go to view basis basis of selection and in this case i want to see them as fasta or fast a if i click here these are the nucleotides that come that form that are composing fbab gene we can, from this window, we can copy and paste by highlighting and then put it in another, in another file if we want or in a blast search if need be. Notice that you can save this to a file. I'm not going to do that right now. We can also visualize the amino acid sequence, either going through the same process, view, amino acids and amino acid selection of fast A, or we can also access the same menu by doing double click on the feature, going to view, amino acids, amino acids of selection as fast A. So notice that this menu is, reproduces the one that is on the top banner. And here opens a new window where we can see the amino acid sequence of the file, of the, of the protein. FBAB. If we wanted to save this sequence to a file, we can either do it as I showed before, or we can go to, with a highlighted feature, go to File, Write, Write Basis of Selection as FASTA, EMBL, or Gene Format. I want to choose EMBL format. So here I can just say, S -typhi F B A B gene and I am going to put the extension EMBL so I remember that I saved it as an EMBL file. 
I can then navigate to that location and open the file if I want to. You can also save more than one at the same time by selecting four features, for example, file, write, basis of selection, as fast as this time, four genes, FBAP, and there is the saved file. And then select future plots. This opens a window in which we can see the hydrophobicity of the, of the protein encoding that particular gene, the hydrophilicity of the protein encoding the gene, and the coil-coil regions, or the probability of encountering a coil-coil region. Look at uh, this slider on the side. It works the same as for the GC content that we've seen before. We can re re uh, smoothen the plot or make it sharper. And notice that the hydrophobicity is right opposite to the hydrophilicity and they look like mirrors because where a protein is going to be very, very hydrophobic is going to be very, um, not hydrophilic. Now to the coil-coil uh, regions. Coil-coil regions, as um, we explained earlier, um, are regions of highly structural regions in the protein and they can um, take into uh, a very important functions. What this plot is showing us is the probability of finding a coil coil region in, during, in, along the length of the amino acids of that protein. So here where we can see that's towards the amino acid 120 or towards the end of the protein, there seems to be an increased probability of encountering a coil coil region. Therefore, we can have a little bit more insight into what these proteins might be doing. This is the end of the screencast. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you are now a bit more fluent in Artemis.